Hey guys, I'm David, and if you're following Korea, you might have gotten the news that Seoul recently decided to change its slogan. Um, the old one was Hi Seoul or Seoul of Asia, and they started having a contest where everyone was able to submit choices, and then there was a big poll, and out of the three finalists, I Seoul You won. The other choices were Souling and Soulmate. And this actually sparked big controversy in the English community, because let's face it, saying I Seoul You doesn't really make much sense. I wanted to give my thoughts on this, but before going into detail about the English part, let's first take a look at the Korean slogan, because I think it makes things a lot more clear. In Korea, the slogan is not I Seoul You, it is Na Wa No We Seoul, which basically means something like Our Soul or Soul of You and Me. That gives us a lot of room for interpretation. For example, we can say, um, of course, this city is ours. This is our city, it is part of our life. Uh, we can say, Seoul is a part of you and me, or this city belongs to us, it is our city. Or you can even go that far and say, um, Seoul is not now the name of the city, it basically means the soul of us. So the city soul is the soul of us. So that brings of course the question, if you have a slogan that good in Korean, why would you take something like I Seoul You in English, which is not related to it at all? So actually the English version means exactly the same thing as the Korean version. Here's why. What many people tend to oversee here is that between I and Seoul and you, there are dots. And what do dots do? They end a sentence. So instead of having one big entity that says I Seoul You, you now suddenly have three separate sentences with just one word. That means that each part of this, of this construct becomes a separate entity. And doing this actually gives us a lot more room to play around with, because for example, we can rearrange I Soul You to Soul and You and Me, and suddenly it's a completely different thing. We can for example say, I am here and you are here and so is Soul, or we are here together and Soul is complimenting us. And you know why I think I'm right? Because if you take a look at the official statement they released for this slogan, well, it could be the Korean version, but just let me read this for you really fast. According to the city, the concept here is intended to suggest that Seoul is a place where two individuals can coexist. And this is exactly what I just explained. I exist here, and you exist here, and so does Seoul. But to be fair, I think it would have been a lot better if they arranged it differently. I Seoul You is a nice wordplay kind of thing, but to get the meaning of the slogan across, I think they should have done something like Seoul and me and you, or I, you, Seoul. Soul, you, me. See, three same words, but suddenly people have to think about it and be not just like, oh my god, so does a verb. Everything is stupid. So next time when you see this slogan, just think a little bit more about it. It actually has a lot more meaning behind it than you might think first. I hope I was able to explain it a little bit more understandable. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.